English, of course. EA Games. Challenge everything. Yes, check by save game, and hello everyone, hello, welcome to the newest Let's Play I'm doing. Hopefully the audio levels are not shit, I've just done an audio test on another game. But yeah. Harry Potter Quidditch World Coop is the game we are playing today. Or for the next few days is where we make a Let's Play of it. So yeah, this game is from 2003, Electronic Arts, and yes, we lead a gang of idiots possibly karate masters on a broomstick and it seems like we punch people a lot um, World Cup mode is currently locked there's Hogwarts mode I guess that's where you play as like you know the kiddies who do magic and shit and fight that dude Don't who looks like a snake the basics of Quidditch and compete for the Quidditch Cup. shut up I know what I'm doing not really I've never played this um, alright there's exhibition I'm guessing that's like an exhibition map like you uh, get on FIFA. Yeah, think of this as Magic FIFA people. Just it's Magic FIFA and inventory. So I guess we'll jump right into Hogwarts mode. We'll do the tutorial this episode. Learn how to fly a fucking broomstick. I'm gonna teach you how to ride a broomstick and be a Welcome magic person. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup: Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Mm. Who knows? You might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Yeah, don't... I wish this right. was at 3D TV. Yeah, hello, Ginger. No. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. Bullshit. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. Cool. That's a tomato. This ball's called the quaffle. The tomato. The chasers throw the quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Cool, no. I guess. There's another player on each side who's called the keeper. I'm keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand All right. Back. So you have a girly. Can I get Joe Green or whatever his name is? Um, that's a meteorite, I assume. Ah, uh, no, this is cricket now. The bludgers rock around trying to knock players off their brooms. Oh, that's, that's fatal. Have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock them towards the other team. Okay. I'm not following this at all, by the way. Um, but he's having a big fight with that meteorite, which. I mean, it's crappy particle effects. To sum up so far, Ooh, a dandelion. The try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the seeker. He doesn't have to worry about the quaffle or the bludgers. 
This is the golden snitch. And Have you noticed how many people are cheering this tutorial? It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the seeker's job to weave in and out of the chasers, beaters, bludgers, and clawful to catch the snitch before the other team's seeker. Because whichever seeker catches the snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. That kind of throws throw strategy out of a window, caught. doesn't it? Any questions? No. Uh, yes. Good. Why is the snitch such bullshit? Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If Great. you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. Right. Okay, so if you'd like to choose your house team, we can Yes, please, I would like to do some actual gameplay, you annoying black-haired person who looks suspiciously like me. Alright, which house do I get then? Gryffindor, the... I'm guessing that's Harry Potter. Looks like he's melted, and this is Slytherin. Um, yes, hello there, Malfoy. You are still a colossal dick. Uh, Hufflepuff. Guess that was background child number five from the Philosopher's Stone. And Ravenclaw. I have no idea who that is either. Alright, um, I guess I'm going to pick one of the more well-known houses, so I've got a choice between Gryffindor or Slytherin, because fuck the other houses. Come on, whoever gives a shit about Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw? Don't lie, you never cared. Um, I can't find a coin to flip, so I've got a better idea. Ready? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a slow-scrolling game by its toe if the disc corrupts better let it go all right we're gonna be slivering then um yes we are playing as team knobhead well done you've made the only smart choice slithering i'll show you the right way to play quidditch of course we're going to have to teach you how to compete come on Let's meet the rest of the finest team at Hogwarts. I think I've made the best decision of my life. Look, they're the finest team. And I made the only smart choice. I, I am a fucking genius at this game. I've only just started playing. Alright, um... Passing. Alright, so we're going to do passing, tackling, seeking with Blondie. We can't do beating or special moves or combos. Combos and special moves. Is this a fighting game or a game of bloody Quidditch? Alright, um, we'll spend this episode then. Uh, we're gonna go through all these house challenges, I guess, and then do actual house cupping. So, yeah. Marcus Flint, Slytherin captain and chaser. Here's where you learn about passing the quaffle. You look like you, you have a face only your mother could love. And I'm, I mean,. Uh, hopefully the uh, video quality is okay on your end, but on my TV this game is actually a little bit pixely because it's kind of stretching out onto my widescreen job. But anyway, left analog stick to control the broom, X to action pass. Not just any pass people, we're doing an action pass. So learn how to pass to Quaffle. With the magical rings flowing between your chases of green... Oh, I'm just going to throw this ball at people. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation. Between each chaser you will see a magical ring. These rings will change colour from yellow to green. I the hate magic. Must keep passing the through the ring All right, here, yeah, have this. Missing a ring. Plus ten points, okay. Um, who wants the ball? You have a ball! Well done catching it, okay. Here, have a ball. Right, there you go. I know what I'm doing, Malfoy. Please. Stop being so posh. Here, have... Oh, wrong pearl. Oh, I still get five points. Alright, here, have this. Oh, yay, ten points. Okay, here, have this. How is it taking me a minute to do this? this fe I feel like I've only played this for about 30 seconds. Did I get time penalties? Oh, well, I win. A Quidditch card. Oh, my God. 55 seconds of penalties. You are dealing with an utter Quidditch master here, people. Um, yeah. 
One Quidditch card, one save and continue. Checking for save games. I, this is a new memory card, so there's, there's guaranteed to be enough space on here. Hope you're enjoying the episode so far. We'll have save slot number one. Um, I plan to do quite a few PS2 games, but maybe along the way we'll do some Xbox 360, PS3 and Xbox One games. Um, just depends what I feel like, but if you know any games, that console games, that might be of interest to me, I do take recommendations or requests. I mean, it, I won't be guaranteed to do them, but I'll, I'll we'll keep the game in mind. Alright, what did I win? win the more the Slytherin team will be able to do. These cards will open up all sorts of other things too. You can take a look at your Quidditch cards anytime you like, but not when you're playing, so don't bother trying. Press I'm gonna try that. And select the view cards option. Use oh, the Yeah, button. shut up, mouth. Shut up, Blondie. I wanna look at my cards. Let's have a look at it. So what card did I get? I'm guessing it was a Slytherin card. Uh, I think there's like there's 104 cards to collect, so No? Okay. Uh, oh, right, it's a Hufflepuff card. Why am I getting Hufflepuff cards to playing a Slytherin? I don't get that, but let's have a look. Wow, it's... Wow, you can... Oh, you can tilt this. Cool. Uh, this kind of ruins the concept of a card, though, because all I'm looking at now is some sky, but it's three lads looking absolutely miserable. Thank you, I've got a picture of child poverty. I'm out of here. Um, Can I do the next challenge I guess we got we've only got five challenges left to do and then we'll yeah all right um yeah go away blonde blondie what what are we doing now so we've done passing I think it was seeking next so I guess that's where you got to catch the golden bullshit ball or not no wait it's this tackle and shoot all right so is this the thing where I get to beat people up like in the opening cutscene chaser for slithering you're about to learn about tackling hard and shooting at goal. Alright, I've got to tackle hard and shoot at a girl. I will not let you down, Mr... Whatever your name was, but also you two have a face only your mother could love. Anyway, it's X to do the action tackle, circle to shoot, left knobbly stick to This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers Ooh, it's a and ghost. a really annoying ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost's name, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for far too long. This All right, ghost so is going to be flying around right. the pitch in the quaffle, trying to get away from your chaser. All right, do I catch him then? Oh ha! I stole your tumor. I stole your tumor, ghosty. All right. There we go. <laughs> I win. Also try and stop them from scoring. Come here, ghost. I want. Yeah. How do you tackle a ghost? Right, there we go. I'm winning! Even if the tutorial voices will not shut up. Alright, I'm going to go after centre one. I think that's the one that gives you the most points because it's big and round. There! Ah, I win! 35 seconds. Beat that ghosty yes, McGhost. New Quidditch cards. House record beaten. Two cards won. Alright, let's have a... Another look at them. Is it going to be more depressed children? Because I'm I'm not in the mood for reading Dickensian books. I just want to be Quidditchy. I like Quidditch. Um, oh, save. Yes, yeah, save. Do I have to save after every damn challenge? I take auto saving way too much for granted. It's true. This is what modern gaming has done to me. Auto save this, auto save that. Come on. Oh my god, a loading screen. How are you enjoying this episode so far then? If you've made it 15 minutes in, I think we're in. I know it's a bit of a long one, but yeah. We'll, we'll just we'll, we'll 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 just try and get all these challenges done. We'll look at the cards at the end of the episode. Draco Malfoy, Slytherin Seeker. Oh, you're that guy who's a massive bell end. Can you get your black broomstick? Oh, God, he, he shoved his black broomstick in my face. All right. Catch the golden sni snidget. I thought it was a snitch, not a snidget. Follow the trail as closely as possible to build up boost. Use boost to catch up with a snidget and attempt to catch it when you're close enough. 
Circle to catch, X to do the action boost, a uh, fly to from a snitch reservation. What the f- it's I'm a bird! The best secret Hogwarts I've been asked to catch it. This is a great opportunity to learn about slipstream and boosting when playing- Harry Potter match. was obviously too busy- Oh look, uh, who's that? Wee! What am I doing? My broom is golden! Follow the magic rainbow road! What was it? Ah, boosting. Wee! Oh, damn it, I missed. Wee! Look at this poorly rendered world, by the way, people. Look at these horrible graphics. Worthy of Mountain Blade. Hey! Ha, <laughs> got it! I'm so good at this. New Quidditch cards. New Quidditch cards. Ooh! 25 seconds school record beaten and first match unlocked. I'm guessing I know enough to do a match, but we won't do that this episode. But uh, I think we need to, all we need to know is that I am already a pro at Quidditch. Oh, this game is just insultingly easy. Right. Save once more, save once more. I am such a pro at Quidditch. No wonder I was elected to be put in Slytherin. It's just, it's just me. I am just the bitch. Because I am a bitch. Okay, are we loading the game? Loading the game, of course. Loading the game. That was pretty good, even for you. Okay, so now you've completed your first three house challenges. You're ready to play a real Quidditch match. Only the team with the most points wins the Quidditch Cup. Remember from here you can play any Hogwarts house team to better your score. Oh, so is this is this what we're doing now? So versus Ravenclaw, alright so we fight Ravenclaw first, then the yellow dudes, and then Harry the Potter, or a practice game. We're going to finish with challenges, I, I, I feel like we still need to learn everything about the game. We know the basics, but let's learn some fancy shit. So what's next on the challenge list? It's locked! Oh well, this is awkward. Well, we'll learn how to... Well, in the blood of a big meteorite that's designed to kill me, I think I have the right to know how not to be killed by a meteorite. Oh well. We'll look at our cards better and we'll wrap this episode up. Uh, next episode, we're going to get beaten up by a meteorite, which will it'll be fun. Well, what did we, what cards did we get? Let's see, we've got more Hufflepuff cards. Great, they all is, look so depressed. Um, the Keeper. Okay, their keeper is Legolas for some reason. Who's their beater? Two guys with blonde hair. One of them looks like his face might be melting, but that might just be my TV being pixely. I don't know. And, ooh, Gryffindor cards. Let's see what's going on in Land of Gryffindor. Uh, keeper. Oh yeah, it's that Scottish guy who treats me like I don't know anything. Cool. Whatever. And Slytherin, superior Slytherin card, the only smart choice. Let's see, oh god, there are some ugly people. And you, uh, are you a girl or a boy? I don't know, everyone looks the same in this game, they all just look... It's just like they all have the same template hair, there's like three hair templates and they just change colours. But, yeah, for remember all. Alright, that's... Yeah, let's see what a, rem a, rem a, rem a, rem a remember all is. It's literally the save thing. Cool. Cool name, bro. But yeah, that's where we'll leave it for today. So next time on Heredia Potter Quidditch World Cup, we'll do our first match versus Ravenclaw. Goodbye, everybody.